Let us pray the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the radiance of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue to pray, to commemorate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pray through her intercession that God may continue to pour out His blessings upon us, to our families, and to our community. Let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. 
I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly, greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and, and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book. Of Samuel. David returned from his defeat of the Amalekites and spent two days in Sigla. On the third day, a man came from Saul's camp with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. Going to David, he fell to the ground in homage. David asked him, where do you come from? He replied, I have escaped from the camp of the children of Israel. Tell me what happened. David bade him. He answered that many of the soldiers had fled the battle and that many of them had fallen and were dead. Among them, Saul and son Jonathan. David seized his garments and rent them, and all the men who were with him did likewise. They mourned and wept and fasted until evening, for Saul and his son, Jonathan, and for the soldiers of the Lord of the clans of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. Alas, the glory of Israel, Saul, slain upon the, your heights. How can the warriors have fallen? Saul and Jonathan, beloved and cherished, separated neither in life nor in death, swifter than eagles, stronger than lions. Women of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothe you in scarlet and in finery, who deck your attire with ornaments of gold. How can the warriors have fallen in the thick of the battle, 
slain upon your heights. I grieve for you, Jonathan, my brother. Most dear have you been to me. More precious have I held love for you than love for women. How can the warriors have fallen? The weapons of war have perished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. O guide of the flock of Joseph, from your throne upon the cherubim shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Rouse your power and come to save us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? You fed them with the bread of tears and give them tears to drink in ample measure. You have left us to fall over by our neighbors and our enemies. Mock us. Let us see your face, Lord and we shall be saved. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came with his disciples into the house. Again the, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Iba-iba tayo ng field, iba-iba tayo ng specialization, at iba-iba yung mga talents natin. Iba-iba tayo ng kinahihiligan. At kung minsan, kung sobrang focus tayo doon sa field natin, doon sa mga gustong-gusto natin gawin, ay wala tayong pakialam kung ano yung sasabihin ng iba. May mga tinanong ako, no? sabi ng isang writer, kapag siya daw ay nagsusulat, especially ito ay author ng libro, kapag siya daw ay nagsusulat ng libro, ay nilalak niya yung kwarto niya, may hawak-hawak siyang maliit na Alfonso, at, at wala siyang pakialam kung anong sasabihin ng mga, ng mga ka, ka, kasama niya sa bahay. It's either magkukulong siya ng isang araw, dalawang araw, Tatlong araw, pag-focus siya sa pagsusulat ng libro at hindi na niya alintano kung siya ay gutom, kung ano man yung nararamdaman niya, maipahayag lang niya ang kanyang pagmamahal sa pagsusulat sa pamamagitan na rin ng writing siya, sa pamamagitan ng librong gagawin niya. O di kaya ganun din yung mga doctors, yung mga nurses, sinasabi nila, Father, kapag kami ay nasa emergency room, kapag kami ay nasa operating room, ay hindi na namin alintana ang gutom. Hindi na namin alintana kung ano ang oras na o kung ano na ang nangyayari sa labas. Basta focus kami doon sa trabaho namin, ay wala na kami pakialam kung anong nangyayari, maisave lang namin at mapagsilbihan ang isang pasyente. O di kaya ito rin yung sasabihin ng isang teacher. Hindi na nila alintana kung ano ang nangyayari sa labas din. Kung ano, gutom din sila, kung ano yung emotions nila. Basta, matuto lang ang kanyang mga estudyante, makagawa siya ng isang magandang lesson plan at maigawa ma ma niya ang kanyang bisyon bilang isang teacher. At ganyan din ang mga public servants. Hindi na nila alintana kung ano, wala nga silang non-break kung minsan. Wala din silang snack break kung minsan. Basta mapagsilbihan lamang ang karamihan. Sasabihin siguro nito natin, nababaliw na siguro itong mga to, no? 
Bakit kaya inuuna nila yung iba kesa sa sarili nila? Lagi natin sinasabi, unahin mo muna yung sarili mo. Kailangan magkaroon ka ng magandang kalusugan para mapagsilbihan yung iba. Pero gaya nga ng mga examples ko, hindi na nila alintana ang kanilang kalusugan mapagsilbihan lamang ang karamihan. Marami tayong kinababaliwan kung minsan. At ito din ang punto ng ating Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito na si Yesus sobra siyang focus sa pagsisilbi sa karamihan. Sobra siyang focus sa pagpapagaling. Sobra siyang focus sa pagbimilagro, pag, pagsisiwalat ng magandang balita. At ang sabi ng kanyang mga relatives na babaliw ka na Yesus, na babaliw ka na sapagkat wala ka ng time para sa sarili mo. But then, sinasabi ngayon ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, ang kanyang pagmamahal, ang siyang nagtutulak sa kanya upang magsilbi sa lahat-lahat na walang nakakataas at walang nakakababa na lahat sa tingin niya ay pantay-pantay tayo sa ngalan ng pag-ibig. Gaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina mga kapatid, marami tayong kinababaliwan. Trabaho man, O di kaya yung familia natin? O di kaya sa pagmamahal natin sa ating kapwa-tao? But then Jesus is telling us, my dear friends, na kahit pabaliw tayo sa tingin ng mga tao, ay wag na wag tayong mapapagod pa rin magsisilbi sa ating kapwa-tao. Marami sa atin siguro, wala man tayong sakit sa physical, pero marami naman tayong sakit na iniinda sa ating emotions o di kaya sa ating mga puso at maging sa ating mga kaluluwa. Meron tayong tinatawag na EII, no? Emotionally, emotionally Induced Illnesses, na kung minsan, for example, no, kapag andyan na yung taong kagalit mo, sabihin mo siguro sa akin, Father, kumukulo yung duho ko. Father, nahahay blood ako. Pag nakikita ko yung taong yan. But then at the end of the day, sino ang talo? Ikaw ba o yung taong kagalit mo? na yung mga, yung mga emotions o di kaya negative na nafe-feel natin, ito yung kadalasang nagiging sanhi ng sakit ng ating katawan. Yung sama ng loob mo, yung galit na ini, kinikimkim mo, o di kaya ano pa mang negative na emotions natin, ito kung minsan yung nagiging sanhi ng sakit natin. At ito lamang ay mapapagaling, hindi ng mga doktor, hindi ng mga psychologist siguro, kundi ng ating Panginoon lamang. Idulog natin sa Kanya lahat-lahat ng kung ano ang nararamdaman natin. Hindi lang siguro mga kasiyahan natin. Hindi lang siguro mga achievements natin. Kundi pati rin siguro yung mga kasalanan natin. Yung mga galit sa puso natin. Yung mga kasakiman sa ating kaluluwa. At kung ano-ano pa mang negative na nasa ating mga puso. Sapagkat siya lamang ang makapagbibigay ng lunas, ng lunas sa mga kasakit ng mga ito. In this mass, therefore, my dear friends, through the inter intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, hingin natin ang kanyang tulong na nawa, maidulog natin sa harapan ng ating Panginoon ang lahat-lahat ng nasa puso natin at nang sa gayon, siya na mismo ang siyang maghihil sa atin. Huwag na huwag tayo magsasawang magsilbi sa kahit kanino man. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that we may learn from His Son, Jesus Christ, what it means to serve. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we as a church may go out of our own worlds to serve others in self-effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may give the best of themselves in serving the people, instead of seeking their personal gain, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show gratitude to those who render service to us in various ways, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we may be attentive to the needs of others 
Instead of being too much concerned with our selfish ends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find respect and attention from their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all the members of our family, especially those who are far from us. Lord our God, it is not easy for us to help others when it is inconvenient to do so. May we learn from Jesus to be available to anyone who seeks help, and may you give us the strength to do so. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, Join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Oh, so 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Ang 
Stand. Let us pray. Ground to your church, O Lord, that is strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer to Santo Nino de Piat. Santo Nino de Piat, you are the divine child Jesus. We believe in you, we adore you, and we love you. Have mercy on us, sinners. We come before you in response to your love. We come in response to your mercy and grace. We are here because you invited us to come before you and to pour out the, the cares of our hearts to you, since you deeply care for each of us. We remember your words to, to the disciples, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. Trusting in your infinite goodness and trusting that you always keep your promise, we now ask this intention which we pray in the silence of our hearts. Thank you, Santo Nino de Piat, for listening attentively to our prayers all the time. We hope that you will ask this before our Heavenly Father, and if what we ask for may not be good for our salvation and sanctification, we trust that you will grant us instead what we truly need, so that one day we may be with you for all eternity, enjoying that ultimate happiness of heaven. Santo Nino de Piat, bless and protect us. Santo Nino de Piat, bless and lead us. Santo Nino de Piat, bless and provide for us. All this we ask, through the intercession of your Holy Mother, Our Lady of Piat, and in your powerful and most holy name, Jesus. Amen. Please stand. We offer a hymn to our Blessed Mother, Salve Regina, Mate Misericorde, Vita Ducero, Et Spes Nostra Salve. A te clamamos, exules filiebe, a te suspiramos, yementes et lentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, Ad nos converte, et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis pos hoc exilium ostende, o clemens, o pia. Oh, 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 dulcis Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepared the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, 
to become the worthy dwelling place of your Son. Granted by her gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. need for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 